Welcome to the cafe. Today's poem is Today I Am Full of Birds by Liz Soto. One, if you run for too long, you forget everything. Even your limbs become invention, a fallacy of skin. You tell yourself you once had when you knew how to be more. So birds are the stories you now tell your flesh. You remind her of the swift who flies for years, as if land is an impossible trick. You tell her about the sea eagle from China, lost in America for years, flying and flying and never finding home. You remember the lahiho, the o'o, the loma'o, the kakawahi, the akpa, the nukupu, the o'u, the mamo, the wala'ai hoane, the po'u uli, the kama'a'o, the maui, the birds, the birds, the birds. You remember her, all the birds who had to be more to be. Two, this morning I am unsure how a bird exists when she had been seen only under glass for more than 50 years. Her feathers a feeble reminder of what she could be, diminished to a husk of keratin and collagen. This bird once shook the forest with her color. 3. This morning I am not sure how I am still here. Daybreak, just another process of shedding of peeling back to meet with no new skin to shelter. Every breath a surprise, the heart beats still, but how, how do we quiet those too loud bones when our seams are worn by so much running? Or when you finally stop, you still feel your insides running those involuntary tissues scrambling to burst through your surfaces. What would you do to let them free? When all of you is full of run, you imagine yourself feathers. There's a bird inside you pushing at all your cracks. The punctures of veins are just more places for you to breathe. This bird inside you would know how to draw breath. This bird inside you would know the song struggling in your throat. What will you do to let this bird free? What will you do to find all the songs you should sing? 5. Today we remember Kakawahi, we remember the Ahio, the O'o, the Olama'o, the Ekpa, the Nukupu, the O'u, the Mamo, the Ula Ai Hwane, the Po'o Uli, the Kamao'o, the Mai. Today we remember our body before we severed our own wings, just so we could hide from the man in the story who would pin all our wings to the ground. The door is always open.